do you know about the term rti have you ever seen or heard anything that he this person is got a rti file and against this rti file he gets a lot of lots of information and this information is helping him in that legal issue hey fox i am ranjin in this session it's my pleasure to kick us off right now i'm just discussing about the rti files um, uh, from big due to only because of i am doing a course uh, before some days i am starting this course and i have completed this course i just get a certification from there and and i am legally sharing it with you because something is happening in some issues that you are not authorized person to share these things to all but they are sharing and after this they get a legal issue that for this so that uh, from the starting of this certification from starting of this courses i am not sharing it uh, to anyone but after completion of this certification course after i get my certificate now i am well authorized to share it with you so don't waste the time so let's uh, say something about the basic principle about the rti file so rti means right to information that means you have a right to get information from the government because we are paying our taxes so this is our right to get a information to get the information from the government officers where the use of the money that we are paying is a tax it's like there is a road is um, preparing or making in front of your house and in this uh, in this area then it's a fear authority to you to get a rti file to this concerned officer that's why you can get a brief result or brief idea rough estimate for this project for this tender and for the happening around this project too this have a legal authority to you and the supreme court gives you the authority to get information under the article 19 subheading a it say right to speak a right to speak means if you are going to say something that means you have to right to gain some knowledge so if you are going to right to gain some knowledge then you are going to ask the information to anyone so you are going to ask the information in the form of rti and there is the legal procedure to file a rti and how to file the rti how to do all the step by step process there is a legal procedure so first the legal procedure is you have to write your information in a paper or in anywhere or you can get a consult with public information officers and they can help you because they are appointed for this point only they can help you to give you to write the information from you that what the information you are asking and they can give the next process to and when you are writing the uh, application that what the information you are requiring with is some charges is required you have to pay some fees in the form of a postal order money order in any way and after that the procedure can go on and when the authorized person get the information and they can provide you the information there's a right for him so now it's come how to file a rti it may be an online process it may be offline process but the problem is when you are applying for a state government then it's a offline process and when you are going for applying a central level central government or central government then you can go for a online process and the process is uh, first of all identify the issue what the information you are asking from him and then identify the relevant department that what department uh, from which department you are requiring the information identify the department uh, this document or this data is uh, relevant to which, which department and after this you can send him the letter by the postal and then you can get your result and you can write the format in in which format you are requiring the information if this information is too lengthy then you have to say something that that you can give the information me in the electronic mode and i can pay you the fee if you are going to pay the fee what they require then you can get the information in the pen drive in the cd dash mode why should we give our rti file so why is required when you have apply for something and your application is not processing and you are not knowing what the status of this application at the time you ha you have the right to give a rti file to that department that to know the the position the process of your file where is the process right now of your file and you can get a brief idea about what the process of your file if uh, the government officer are not going to uh, doing something with your file 
or if they are not taking any action but if you have give them the RTA file now it's their responsibility to give you the answer within 30 days and if they are not going to answer you within 30 days you can go for the appeal 1 and then you can go for the next process appeal 2 if they are not able to answer you then they have give a fine they have to give a penalty so they have to do they have to respond you in this 30 days the first statement for they have to give you the response that's why they have to do something if they are not processing your file then they have to do their process and after they can give you the result and if you are not getting the satisfied answer if you are not uh, getting any answer to within 30 days and within 30 days you can give a fast appeal to them that i am not giving the answer or i am get the answer which is not satisfied to, satisfied to me so again you can give the appeal and then he can give you the next satisfied answer or if he had not give you any answer then he can give you the answer but if this is not happening again if you not get a another satisfied result or not getting not sat, another satisfied if you are not getting a satisfied result again then you can again apply for appeal 2 in appeal 2 can be done within the 90 days of appeal 1 after appeal 1 you can give for the appeal to and uh, within these days they can give you the result but the problem the lacunas come from the article that in the second appeal there is no time limit they can give you their result within six months within one month six months one year two year anywhere but where I am doing the courses, he said the example, the practical life lesson example that he get a result after 2.5 year of the second appeal. So this is happening with the government organization, this, these are all government organization, so anything can be happening with them. So these are the basic rules, the basic principle of RTI, that uh, what is RTI, what should we do RTI and what is the use of RTI uh, that I have learned. And I hope this is going to benefit for you in your life. If you get stuck anywhere in any process of any or government organization, then you can go for the RTA process. But one declaration is in there, you can apply the RTA only for the government organization or the organization which get funding from the government organization. You cannot give a RTA file to a private organization. You have the right to know where is your money is utilized and your money get a form of tax to government when we are applying for a RTI you have to apply for the government organization only so this is the uh, course that I have completed and I, ha I hope I give you a brief idea about uh, something this all so this is only the basic about the RTI file and these all things so tomorrow we are going to learn a new thing with uh, the new idea so after this signing out myself Ranjan Giri thank you